Hello and welcome. In today's video, I will be showing you how to divide numbers in base 8. We have here 3, 6, 7, 2, 3 in base 8 to be divided by 7 base 8. The method we are going to use here is the long division method. But since we are dealing in base 8, we will first of all have to prepare a multiplication table for 7 in base 8. Another thing that you should take note of is our answer range. Because it's in base 8, the highest number we can have here will be 7. Because we cannot have any number that is greater or equal to 8. So let's go ahead to prepare the table for 7 in base 8. We start with 0. 7 times 0 equals 0 in base 10. In base 8 is also equal to 0. 7 times 1 equals 7 in base 10. We have 7 in base 8. 7 times 2 equals 14. For us to have the corresponding value in base 8, we divide 14 by 8. 14 divided by 8, 8 will go into 14 once, remaining 6. Then we do 7 times 3, it gives us 21 in base 10. 21 in base 8 equals 8 will go into 21, 2 times, remaining 5. Then we have 7 times 4. 7 times 4 equals 28 in base 10. Then in base 8, 28 divided by 8, we have 3, remainder 4. 7 times 5 equals 35 in base 10. In base 8, 35 divided by 8 equals 4, remainder 3. So we have 43. 7 times 6 equals 42 in base 10. We divide 42 by 8 to have 5, remainder 2. 7 times 7 equals 49 in base 10. We divide 49 by 8, we have 6, remainder 1. Because we are dealing in base 10. 8, we cannot have 7 times 8. Instead, it will become 7 times 10. But for the purpose of this division, we'll stop our multiplication table here and then we move over to dividing these numbers. We are going to be dividing 3, 6, 7, 2, 3 in base 8 by 7 base 8 using this multiplication table here in uh, for 7 base 8. So now, 3 cannot divide 7, so we use the first two digits, which is 36. 36 divided by 7, if we check our list here, we do not have 36, but we have a number that is close to it, which is 34, and that's 7 times 4. So 7, we go into 36 4 times. 4 times 7 is 34 in base 8. We subtract, just like in long division. 6 minus 4, we give us 2. 3 minus 3 is 0. Then we bring down our next digit, which is 7. Then we divide 27 by 8. By 7. 27 divided by 7, we check on our list. The closest is 25, and that's 7 times 3. So we write our 3 here. 3 times 7 equals 25 in base 8. We subtract. 7 minus 5 will give us 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Then we'll bring in our next digit, which is 2. If you have followed me up to this point in this video, I sincerely appreciate you. And if you are yet to subscribe, Kindly hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Put on your post notification so that when next I post any video, you would be the first to see it. Thank you. Now we're going to divide 22 by 7. If we check, we do not have 22, but we have 16. And that's 7 times 2. So we have 2 here. 2 times 7 We give us 16. We subtract. Now... 2 minus 6 is not possible, so we have to borrow. We borrow from the next digit. Here now becomes 1. Remember, we are dealing in base 8, so our, we are going to be borrowing in 8. So the 1 that is borrowed from here will become 8. We add 8 to 2, and that gives us 10. So 10 minus 6 becomes 4. Then we bring in our next digit, which is 3. And then we divide 43 by 7. On our list here, we have 7 times 5 equals 43, so we have 5 here. 5 times 7 will give us 43, and we subtract, we have 0, 0. Now that we have obtained 0, we are true with our division. Therefore, 3, 6, 7, 2, 3 in base 8 divide 
by 7 in base 8 equals 4, 3, 2, 5 in base 8. I hope you found this very easy to understand. If you did, kindly leave me a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.